Hey everybody, I was asked to do a video on how I contour, so let's start. I just took our Glorious Face and Eye Primer. Not a lot. Just, you know, pea size. Okay, as you can see, my skin is super red today. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm just using my Kabuki brush, because it's my preference, with the mineral cream. Just my preference, so I'm getting this all over. You always want to start with whatever your base is. Sometimes I use BB Flawless, it works exactly the same way. Doesn't matter. So. Make sure you get your neck. I mean, already, you can tell the difference in my complexion just from using that. That's step one. Excuse me, let me actually get a clip. It'll be much easier. Ugh. My hair is out of the way. Okay, that's step one. Step two, use your light um, either um, another cream foundation. I prefer using Boing from Benefit. So this is 01. It's the lightest shade. And I use this little concealer brush that I got in the MAC Holiday Collection. So I make triangles under my eyes. Notice there's no real perfection here. It's just easy peasy. Because this is all about highlighting. So your light color is about your highlighting. I'm going to do one here. Sorry, it's a little bright right there for you to see that. There you go. I've got the light coming in from outside. Okay, there. I go down my nose. Right in there. Put some on my um, chin. And then I've started highlighting my cheekbone. I mean, my jawline. So, there's that one. My next step that I prefer to do is I now I'm gonna cover it with Fresh, which is our lightest concealer powder. I'm gonna blend this all in, so this is just adding a little more dimension to it. Kinda can start to get that under my eye a little more. This again is more of a, a fluffy little brush. I got a whole set from MAC, but you can use an angled brush or any kind of powdered brush. It's kind of up to you what your preference is. Oh wait, I forgot to do here, so we'll just... Okay. Now, you want to take your dark color. You can go anywhere from two shades darker than your base color to the darkest. I'm actually using Fierce, which is our darkest concealer powder. And again, I just have a little brush. I was using an angled brush, but I only had one, so I use that one for my blush, and I use this one for my concealing. So I get it on my brush, but I tap it, because it's gonna be very, very dark when I put it on. And I'm always gonna start here for my hairline, and go in. Go in, I don't usually go that far down. There we go, that was a little far. Okay, again, we're gonna do the other side. Always up to your hairline. Okay, I don't usually put much more on here because I just highlight, contour the side of my nose just a little bit. I hit under my lip. I have a saggy neck right here. So, I will also contour this because it does minimize it by creating a shadow. Um, when we're all done. And I go just along my hairline right here. It's not, again, not perfection, because I'm gonna blend this in. So it's not about perfection right now. That's simple. Look a little crazy. You can pick and choose where exactly you wanna contour. This is just my preference. This is how I contour my face. So you can get a general idea. It is a, it is something you have to play with to, you know, figure out what exactly is right for you in highlighting your face and contouring your face. So I'm also going to take my blush because it's always so harsh because I have a very bright pink. I have this stunning. And so 
I like to just blend it in at the same time. This is my preference. And with our loose blush, blushers, I do recommend kind of doing it in a patting motion instead of like sweeping. Okay, see? So now I'm all crazy, right? Craziness. I'm going to take my Kabuki brush again. And I'm just going to blend a little bit. Because there's a lot of ways you can do this. This is just my preference. Always start with your lighter and blend your lighter into your dark. Because if you don't, then your highlighting is going to go away. This may look like I'm roughly doing this. I'm not. This is just a big fluffy brush, so I'm not at all. But as you can see, it's already starting to blend. See, no more harsh lines. Then I take um, the shade that is the same as my face. But let me look at the name because I don't remember. Um, Fabulous. It's a concealer, but I just use it like a loose powder. Put it on my flat powder brush, tap, 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 and I just dab. I do this because I want to set and not feel so greasy, in a sense, for me. Um, I just want a nice finish. And I can tell you, I can wear this all day. I will set it with a um, our rose water. As soon as I'm done with my eye makeup, I set it with the rose water and it will last all day. I don't have to touch up my makeup. I'm not using powder in between. I'm not doing anything other than maybe touching up my lips. That is it. So from where we started, you can see, I mean, how red my face was to where we started. It's much lighter through here. You've got nice lighting through here. Just a little bit of shadowing here and here, but it's very light. Even though I use the darkest powder, it's very, very light, um, as long as you blend it in. So, that being said, hopefully you found this helpful, and I will see you all soon.